Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another friend project, and um, if you stick around till after the break, I'll tell you all about it. Welcome back. Today we are going to make a chicken. So stick around and um, I'll get the footage and um, we'll have some fun. Okay, today we're going to have some fun with a couple of these gourds. I don't know if you can see in the background, I've got three others picked out to do this with. And I also have in the works another jewelry box. I can't paint today because it's raining, so we're going to have some fun and we're going to decoupage this with um, some fabric. And I've already cleaned it up and I've cut the stem off of it. And you can hear the seeds rattling around in there. Actually, I'm not going to cut this one open. But I've already made... The little pieces. I've got a beak and a comb and wattle. And I made those out of my quick wood epoxy. And I've painted them and I've just got them sitting back here so they can dry. And I put them on toothpicks. That way it would be a lot easier to paint. But let's get started. Okay, I've got five different pieces of fabric and they're all blue but they've got different designs on them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up and um, I'm going to cut them into triangles but you can cut them into any size any shape whatever you want to do so um let me put a little break in here and um then I'm going to go ahead and get these cut up Okay, today I'm going to be using some gloss Mod Podge, and um, it's a sealer, a glue, and a finish. So it'll have a nice glossy finish when I'm all done. But I've put some in a little jar, and I've got a brush, and um, it's actually very, very simple. Start with a piece on the bottom. Get your brush full. Spread some out. Okay, then you're going to take your first piece. I'm going to lay that down. And you take the glue and you go over it. Get your edges down all real nice. Get ready to put one more on here. Okay, and now I'll pick a different one. Let me see what we're down here. 
and you want to lay it so it overlaps the first one. And then just go over it like you just did the other one. Get your edges are all down really well. Okay, it's really simple and really easy to do, and uh, I'm going to put a break in here while I finish the rest of it. That way Mark can speed it up or put music or anything he wants on it, and hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the main body of it covered. And you want to make sure you don't have anything peeking through. But I'm going to go ahead and um, let this dry for just a little bit so that I have a non-sticky way of holding on to it while I finish the top. So I'll bring you back when I've got it all done. So give me just a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay. I've got it all done and it's all completely dry. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing the little pieces on it. I have um, sanded them to make sure that they fit. And I've repainted where I sanded them. And that's, that's probably going to take me a little bit just to get those put on there. So. I'm going to put a break in here, and um, that way, you know, if it takes too long, then Mark can speak it up a little bit. But I've got to put the, the feet on it, and I've got to put his comb and his waddle and his beak. And uh, normally, I wouldn't put googly eyes on something like this, but I've got eyes that match. And got a bag of all different color little eyeballs so I think I might go that route right now but I'm gonna put a little break in here and I'll be right back <laughs> And there you have it. One decoupage chicken. He's really silly. I like the color eyes on him. But it was a lot of fun. And um, as you can see back here, I've got a few more gourds need some attention. So I got a lot more work to do today. But let me get out of here. And um, I'll be back to talk to you in just a minute. So that's all the footage that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself tagging along with me on this fun little project. Um, I've got a few more of them that I've got to get made, so I need to get, get moving on that. But if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And don't forget to ring that little bell. That'll let you know when we have new videos coming out. But I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you had fun with this video and I'll catch you in the next one.